Welcome back to Jersey Matters. If the heart of Broadway is its actors and directors, then set design and props are its pulse. Phil Andrews takes us to a company in Wayne that creates stage props and scenery for the city's most celebrated theatrical productions. Phil. Well, let's face it, folks. When we go to Broadway, we do so to be entertained and dazzled by the singing, dancing, and acting up on the stage. But sometimes it's the actual surroundings that can also steal the show. I mean, what would the Phantom of the Opera really have been like without all of its magnificent set designs. Or how less whimsical would the chimney sweep scene have been in Mary Poppins without that great rooftop layout? Well, welcome to Empire Technical Fabrication, a 17,000 square foot facility here in Wayne that makes stage props and scenery for some of Broadway's most celebrated theatrical productions. The company? Well, it's the brainchild of Ryan Hales, Jeremy McComish, and Jeremiah Lamb. We all worked at different shops that supply scenery for Broadway shows. and um, But uh, when, we, when we sort of all met and came together, the both of them were working on shows, um, running the shows. And I was working for a company that supplied the, uh, the scenery for the shows. And, um, you know, we interacted on a couple of different shows and we started talking about how there needed to be another shop on the market. And, uh, you know, uh, some things came together. And, and next thing you know, we decided to start a company. Uh, we did a lot of support items for uh, for a number of shows to start, like whether it's rehearsal scenery or platforms in the trap room or backstage. But we, we worked on the Phantom of the Opera International Tour. We worked on A Christmas Carol. Uh, we worked on uh, the full Tootsie musical that's touring right now was built by us. Uh, we rehashed uh, and rebuilt parts of Anastasia Tour that's out right now as well as doing a, a mechanized effect for the Cats tour that's out right now. And this, by the way, is the mechanized prop that Brian was talking about. Basically a, a platform that extended out to pick up uh, an actress on stage and then bring them off stage. Now, Empire Theatrical Fabrication actually got its start in 2019. Yes, only a few years ago. And things, as you can see, were off to a great start. And then... COVID-19 arrived and shut down Broadway and other theatrical venues, leaving this dynamic trio with the task of reinventing themselves. We had three shows we were building at the time uh, that theater basically shut down and, and all three shows we were working on stopped work uh, with over like a one to two week period. So they teamed up with the Rockwell Architectural Group in Manhattan and started building curbside dining pods to help fuel the Big Apple's outdoor dining phase, which more than helped fill some of their financial void. We didn't really have an option but the but to try to seek out other work, and so we did. And and frankly, we now have clients in in markets that we never expected. So, um, and, and it pushed the team from an you know an engineering standpoint to to do things that we never would have done theatrically. And of course, now that the theaters have reopened. Empire Technical Fabrication has been able to focus on what they want for the company moving forward. I would like to see uh, that the ETF product becomes more uh, widespread within the market and uh, that our name uh, comes with a connotation of quality and uh, dedicated service really focusing on putting out uh, a quality product uh, in a timely fashion that uh, people want to come back to us for. Because let's face it, the show must go on. In Wayne, for Jersey Matters, I'm Phil Andrews. All right, thank you, Phil. My commentary is next.